Hey guys, this is New Dimension Gaming, bringing you the first Friday podcast. Okay, so, we are live in the New Dimension Gaming studios, and we're just going to talk about kind of the new releases coming out within this next week. So, one of the first things that comes to mind for me is NHL 14 and Madden NFL 25, which came out last week. NHL 14, of course, coming out on Tuesday. Wait, Madden came out two weeks ago. So, what I basically think about having these games like Madden NFL 25 and games like NHL 14 is it's bringing up EA's reputation again for being a great ability for this franchise. And honestly, if you're going and you're playing an EA Sports game, I understand that sometimes you're not going to like that game. That is understandable. And honestly, you have every right to think that it's not a good game. I'm not blaming you on that. I'm not saying it's a stupid thing for you to say that you don't like an EA Sports game. Because, to be honest with you, some EA games are not that good. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you there. Sometimes they're not the greatest. But you have to make sure that you take a chance with that game. Because that game could be actually really good. I mean, EA Sports NHL 13, that was a good game. It was just the lockout really affected it. And was that understandable? Yes, it was. To be honest with you, I couldn't care less if that game never went on the market. And you can't blame me for that, because NHL was just... They were being so stupid at the time that the game was released. And that really took a hit on EA Sports. But EA Sports itself is an amazing franchise. The phone lines are open. Give us a call on the cell. Or you can tweet your ideas to at SportsPro1000 as a new Twitter feed is being worked out. But the current topic today is EA Sports. Well, we can actually expand it off that. We can start talking about EA, the franchise in general, that doesn't only make EA Sports games. They make EA Mobile. They're the ones that make the apps. And then there's EA Games, which makes... Wait, what do they make anymore? I don't know. But... You look at some of the better... Sports gaming franchises out there. EA Sports is actually one of the bigger ones. So I was happy when I saw that they actually put out NBA Live 14. Because let's be honest here. I, I think it was probably, and it's probably going to be, one of the best games on the PS4 for the sports for the 2014 year. And I'm being completely honest with that. I, I think if you want... To make yourselves competitive with some of the better basketball makers, also known as NBA 2K. And 2K is not known for making that much great games. They're known for making kind of crappy games like MLB 2K. That series sucks. I'm saying that right now. MLB 13, the show, is 10 times better, if not 100 times better, than what MLB 2K ever will be. I'm saying that right now, and I, I admit, I have played MB, MLB 
2K11 and 2K6. Then I then I got MLB 11 the show and I have not played MLB 2K since. It was that bad. Honestly, NHL 2K wasn't that great either. So, switching over to actual sports. If I go, I'm checking the score for the Boston Red Sox right now. Last I saw, it was 13 to nine, and that's exactly as as it ends up. That is a really, really tough game. So also going on in sports tonight. As I open up Sportsnet. Today, in baseball action right now, Milwaukee is trailing the Chicago Cubs 2 to nothing in the top of the 4th. As Milwaukee is threatening at the moment. Runners on 1st and 2nd with none out. Also in the majors right now, Houston and Oakland tied at nothing, nothing going into the bottom of the fourth. And we already have a few finals. 13 to 9, Boston defeats the Yankees. We also have Cincinnati just jumping over the Dodgers 4 3 in 10 innings. And we also have Baltimore beating the Chicago White Sox 4 3. In 10 innings as well. All the other games are coming up later tonight. Including Philadelphia and Atlanta at 7.05 Eastern. Toronto and Minnesota at 7.10 Eastern. Detroit and Kansas City also at 7.10 Eastern. New York Mets and Cleveland Indians are getting set to play ball in just... Under an hour. 6.05 Eastern. And then there's other games like Colorado and San Diego at playing at 8.40. And all the other games are at 9.05. Now checking CFL football for this Saturday. We got Hamilton laying a whooping. On BC, 17 to 5 with 6.33 left in the second quarter. And that's the only game going on in the CFL today as we have Toronto and Montreal going tomorrow at 1 in Montreal. And the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. That is the upset of the year right there. They are terrible. If you win, put Winnipeg Blue Bombers against the Edmonton Eskimos, I'd have to say that's a pretty tight game. Because both stink. This is the New Dimension Gaming Podcast on New Dimension Gaming's channel. We are back with the next 8 minutes and 59 seconds of your life. So, how about Peyton Manning? Breaking that record with 7 touchdowns in a game. That was pretty impressive, I have to admit that. So, while we're talking about the NFL, let's go check out what's going on Sunday night. Well, Sunday afternoon, basically. As all games will, well, most games will be played at 1. We got some of the head matchups that I'm actually excited to see. New England Patriots and the 
Buffalo Bills. That is going to be pretty exciting. But I have to be honest with you, I want Buffalo to come to Toronto. They've played here before. They've done actually pretty well. Why don't they come? I can tell you why they don't come. Because their fan base is not really in Toronto. It's in Buffalo. And even then, you're having struggle. You're having a struggle getting attendance. Give me a break. We also got Seattle and Carolina. Chicago and Cincinnati. Miami and Cleveland. And then a whole bunch of other games going tomorrow at 425. Now switching gears back to the MLB. Jose Bautista was shut down for the season later, earlier this week. My question is, should the Blue Jays trade Jose Bautista? Leave your comments in the comment section below this podcast. Let me know what you think. Honestly, I don't think they should, because here's why. He is one of the best power hitters in this league. So why would you get rid of a guy that has been a massive asset to you this year, and for the last three years, when he wasn't injured. Now he has a hip bruise, and all of a sudden people want to trade him. Come on, that is so stupid. I cannot get over how dumb that is for someone to say, oh, well, he's injured, go get rid of him. That's like saying for... Let's use a trauma maple belief here. Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel gets injured. Phil Kessel, one of the top players of the Leafs, gets injured. What will Toronto want to do? They'll want to trade him because they don't think he's strong enough to play on their team. Even though he might be leading the team in almost half their goals, Toronto will want to trade him. That is so stupid, but I admire the fact that they want to have a healthy team. I admire that. But I don't understand why. Why would you trade your best player? If you want a topic to come on the next New Dimension Gaming podcast, please leave it in the comment section below, putting topic in your comment. We got three minutes left to go here. And we still have a lot to talk about. But first. I want you guys to know. That my mic which is working pretty well right now, has had a struggle going recently where I have not been able to record lots of videos. So I am promising you this right now. This weekend, the 14th and 15th, you'll be able to see probably, I'll put up two commentaries then, and I'll put up about four through the week, and then you'll see, again, two on the Saturday, four throughout the week. You'll start seeing a basic trend on that, and then that is basically how I will be able to do most of my videos from here on out, because I'm back in school now, and it's harder for me to use everything that... I have at my advantage to use in all my games. So we will gladly take your comments and maybe some questions for the next podcast, of course. 
But also, NHL 14, I'm just seeing on their Facebook page, it talking about midnight launch parties. And Toronto is apparently having James Van Riemsdyk at the Young and Dundas Square for the midnight launch party of NHL 14. All my fans in Ottawa, you guys get to have Craig Anderson at your EB Games at 501 Earl Grey Drive, Unit 2 in Canada. Montreal, you guys are in for a treat here. You guys get one at La Mouche. 182 one, 1284 Dennis Street and PK Subban and George Peros will be there signing autographs from 9:30 to 11:30 Everyone else that I have not mentioned that includes Winnipeg, Calgary, and Edmonton. You guys can get your schedule for who's coming to your midnight launch party at easports.com slash NHL slash news updates gameplay. Basically, just go to easports.com slash NHL. That wraps up this podcast. From New Dimension Gaming, see you later.